Alexandra Robb, OPS football players will still wear the high-tech helmets Friday, but the technology capabilities inside those helmets will not be in use until the district can determine a new protocol. Ahead of Friday night's game, the Northwest Huskies are sporting new helmets. But the tech inside them takes a timeout. We really have one shot to get this right, so we're taking our time. All OPS students will wear the Rydell Speedflex helmets. They detect how hard players are hit and send notifications when the impact is more than the 95 percentile. It will alert our uh, staff as to, hey, a, a hit was sustained, an assessment may be prudent at this time. But that tech will stay sidelined until the district can decide what to do after a notification, pull a player out of the game, or leave it up to the coach. We've got a sports medicine committee that is working diligently right now to come up with those protocols to make sure that all seven schools, every coach, every trainer in those high schools are following the same procedures. The helmets also collect data, so the district wants legal guidance on what it can and can't share. Hello, hello, hello. We want to get it right first. Rather than to rush in, the technology is new. Uh, there's a, a lot of, of training that has gone on with our staff. I'm told that committee is meeting this Friday and is close to finalizing a new protocol. Now, the goal of the new helmets is to make the game safer, but they do not prevent concussions. Eubank says the goal is to, of course, have a closer eye and ear on every single player. Reporting live from the TAC building, Taylor Barth, KETV News Watch 7.